Hello everybody and welcome once again to the inside of my computer where we're going to be installing a new processor. So first things first we need to ground ourselves on the case of course as we did before. We need to unplug the power supply that goes to the heatsink fan. That's just a little shake like that and it pulls off quite nicely. Now this is an AM2 processor so I'm not sure if it's the same for Intel ones but on the uh, heatsink there's a lever on either side and literally you pull the levers up there's one and there's the other and that allows you to lift the heatsink off the processor once you've unhooked everything at least there we go that was a bit more difficult than I expected on the bottom there you've got the residue of the uh, material used to conducting heat and now we can see the uh, old processor now as you can see there's a large amount of dust built up around it now I like personally to uh, just take the excess dust out with my fingers I don't like to uh, get in there with the whole vacuum cleaner thing just in case you know so to lift out the processor literally there's a little to move this wire aside there's a little lever just here now we can pull that lever out with its clip and up and that releases the processor so now it's come up a little bit now these should be easily removable now so if I just take my fingers either side of the processor very carefully lift it off there she is my old 40 AS AMD Athlon 4600 X2 so here's the uh, new processor it's a Athlon 2 uh, it's an X3 this one it's the fastest one my motherboard will handle so there won't be any upgrades with this motherboard anymore okay now you can't see it very well on here but just in this corner here is a little arrow now this matches up with an arrow on the processor so you know exactly which way to put it uh, in the corner here you've got a little arrow pointing to that corner so when we drop it in we literally place the processor shouldn't need any force at all just let it slide into its stops if you try and force it down you could get bent pins and then you have a whole processor that doesn't work there's lots of money wasted so there we have it the process is in, the golden arrow lines up with the arrow on the motherboard. All I have to do now is push the lever down, clip it into place, and that's the processor in place. Now for the fun part, the heatsink. Okay, so here's the heatsink. It's basically a fan on top of some metal things that conduct heat away from the processor. Always got a plastic thing on the bottom, so make sure you take that off before you uh, install absolutely anything try not to drop it on the processor itself now it's already got thermal paste affixed to it so you don't need to add anything and basically it's fairly simple you literally hook one side over and then the other side there's a lever which pulls everything into place so if we go like so hook that side over as you can see now, I've hooked this over the tab. I've oh, terrible light. Sorry, guys. I've hooked the other side over the tab and pulled the lever across, and that has secured the heat sink in place. All I need to do for the very last thing is, as before, we pull one off. We just need to put the power back on. This usually lines up with a little tab, and it does on this one. We can just simply poke him in, clip that in. Make sure the wire doesn't hit anything important. And we're done, guys. Hopefully that should boot.